college accreditation fine um, i'm going to assume you've read this question it's a very nice very doable question so if you've not tried this question before take some time out try it before jumping into the solution an agency interested to accredit colleges looks at four parameters faculty quality reputation placement quality and infrastructure fine so f r p i the four parameters are used to arrive at an overall score which the agency uses to give an accreditation to the colleges in each parameter there are five possible letter grades given letter grades given each carrying certain points so you have a b c d and then f 50 points for a 40 for b 30 for c 20 for d no e f is zero f counts for nothing the overall score for a college is the weighted sum of the points scored in the four parameters so we give some weightages to f r p and i and then we multiply by the ratings individually and get an overall score the weightages are 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 in some order but order is not disclosed so f could be 0 0.1 2 3 or 4 0 0.1 2 3 or 4 and so on accreditation is awarded based on the following scheme overall score so accreditation is based on overall score wonderful so it's greater than or equal to 45 we get a triple a then b a a b b a triple b chunk when this is overall score uh, on the basis of overall score this accreditation is provided wonderful so the, the the context has been given let's jump in each colleges apply for accreditation and receive the following grades in the four parameters f r p and i when a1 gets a a a b best ed gets b c d d b d d c and so on we cannot try to make too much sense of this so let's read the further constraints it is further known that in terms of overall success, high Q is better than best ed. High Q better than best ed. Best ed is better than cosmopolitan. This is better than this. Education aid is better than A1. This is better than this. Wonderful. So let's let's go. That's it. Nothing more is given. So let's go step by step. High Q is better than best ed. High Q and best ed. C, D, D, B, B, C, D, D. This is B and C, C and D, D and D, D, B. So this, these two are same. There are three that are different. So let's compare the others and see if there is something where maybe only one is different or two are different. If only one is different, then there's no comment to be made. And we know what is better straight away. So if all four are different, then that's nothing we can infer from. But if only two are different, that can really help us. And best ed is better than cosmopolitan. Two. BB, these two are same. DD, these two are same. CD, DC. And but best ed is better than cosmopolitan. What that gives us is brilliant. This statement tells us the weightage of R is greater than the weightage for I. F and P are identical. Uh, best ed has done better in R, which I think is reputation. Uh, whereas Cosmopolitan has done better in I, which is infrastructure. They've done better by the same difference. C to D, D to C. This were D, B or this were B, D or A, D. Then again, we might not have been able to make the inference. So this is C to D, D to C. And so we know now, therefore, that R has more weighted than I. Brilliant. Now let's go to the last one education aid is better than a1 education aid and a1 both have got a and f both have got a and r between p and i education aid has got b in p and a in i and it is better than a1 so the one in which education aid has done better should have the better weightage or i is greater than p r is greater than i is greater than p because r is greater than i i is greater than p so these two have given us a lot and so i'm going to look at this these are the questions so we're first comparing best ed and cosmopolitan which gives us r is greater than i then we compare education i aid and a1 which gives us i is greater than p 
therefore we now know r greater than i greater than p into so therefore this could be 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.
And so what, how much Hi-Q does better in I offsets clearly how much bested does better in F and R or these have to be the weightages. Once you've got the weightages, answering the question should be far simpler. And so the weightages are 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. Now let's go for the questions. What is the weight of faculty quality parameter? 0.1 is what we are looking for. Very straightforward. You've already found this out. We're just marking down the answer. How many colleges receive the accreditation of AAA? AAA means an accreditation of greater than 45. Fine. A1 has AAAB. B is at 0.3. These three add up to 0.7. The overall average will be more than 45. It will be 47. So this works. Best said is BCDD. There is no 50. Not possible. BDDC, no 50. Not possible. Without a set of A's, Triple A is not possible. And even with one A, triple A may not be possible. Dominance, not possible. Education aid, A, A, B, A. B is 0.2, triple A, this works. A, A, B, B, these two add up to 0.5 weightage. These two add up to 0.5 weightage. Between 50 and 40, equal weightage. It will be equal to 45, that works. Global has an F, no A's, no A's. So there are three colleges that receive accreditation of AAA. This score will be 47, this will be 48, this will be 45. I'm doing the weighted average by splitting the difference. What are the highest overall score among the eight colleges? This has to be among the AAA. This is AAA weightage of 0.7 with B of 0.3. This is AAA weightage of 0.8 versus B of 0.2. So 50 into 0.8 plus 40 into 0.2. This is 40 plus 8, 48. How many colleges have scores between 31 and 40, both inclusive? Fine. These three are out. This is 47, 48, 45. And between 31 and 40, both inclusive. A corresponds to 50, B is 40, C is 30, D is 20, F is 0. So between B and C. And so B, C, D, D. And there are two Ds measuring up to half. We are looking to find something between B and C. D, D, B, C. And so this 0.5 into 10, into 20, that will give us 10. 0.4 into 30, that will give us 12. 0.1 into 40. That will give us 4, 22, 26. This is not possible. Fine. B, D, D, C. 0. 0.6 into D. 0. 0.3 into C. Only 0. 0.1. This doesn't work. Dominance D, D, B, C. Half or a D. And so if we average a D and a B, we would get a C. And then we have a C and a D, which will be less than C. The weightage of D is higher than this. The overall will be less than C is out. Global C, F, D, D. We want our average to be at least C. F, D, D are all lesser. This doesn't work. IQ. C, D, D, B. D has 0.6. D and B will average to give us a C. But D's weightage is higher. There is a C. This will be less than C. This is ruled out. Everything is ruled out. The number of colleges scores between 31 and 40, both inclusive, is zero.